Before turning on the monitor, make sure the Venus saturation probe is docked in its designated port on the monitor. This allows the system diagnostics and module self-test to run automatically. This test verifies the function of monitor electronics and check for electronic or optical drift in the module. This could result in calibration failure or reduced accuracy. This check should be done completely and routinely before every use. The system diagnostic testing takes around 40 seconds to complete. When the monitor configuration screen appears, you can select the configuration of your choice. After you have successfully selected the appropriate configuration, the monitor automatically goes into the standby mode. Arterial shunt sensor has to be calibrated for every case. To calibrate, connect the calibrator to the monitor. Once connected, the calibrator receives its power from the monitor. Attach the arterial shunt sensor to the arterial blood parameter module. The CDI shunt sensor contains potassium, PO2, PCO2 and pH fluorescence microsensors as well as the thermostat contact site for temperature measurement. Remove the small blue bottom lower cap. Do not remove the sensor filter. Place the cable head assembly onto the calibrator pocket. Loosen the large blue top lower cap for the calibration gas to pass through. Verify the potassium calibration value from the sensor package on the calibration screen and edit if necessary. When the calibration successfully ends, disconnect the calibrator from the monitor and tighten the large blue top cap. Remove the white filter and place the sensor into the circuit. Then connect the Venus saturation probe onto the Venus cuvette. CDI is real-time continuous blood gas monitoring, providing early detection of changes in patient status during cardiopulmonary bypass surgery. Access to continuous information is a key advantage in optimum patient management because it enables perfusionists to react without delay. CDI uses on optical fluorescence and reflectance technology. The CDI continuously measures or calculates critical blood parameters value during cardiopulmonary bypass. Unique fluorescence sensor technology measures pH, PCO2, PO2 and potassium. Optical reflectance technology measures venous saturation, hematocrit and hemoglobin. pH, PCO2, PO2 is measured per seconds. Potassium is measured per 6 seconds. Venous saturation, hematocrit and hemoglobin is measured per 18 millisecond. The system display is updated every 6 seconds. A minimum flow of 35 ml per minute is necessary for proper measurement. Flows below the minimum may result in slower time response. PO2 and PCO2 can be displayed of your choice, whether it can be a millimeter of mercury or kilopascal. CDI has to be calibrated with the first bypass blood gas. When the sample is taken, CDI has to be stored for reference. When the blood gas results are back, CDA has to be recalled and readjust the parameter respectively. This CDI 550 is capable of monitoring VO2 and DO2. VO2 indicates amount of oxygen consumption by the patient during bypass and DO2 is another important indicator for perfusion. Oxygen delivery and oxygen consumption value provides the perfusionist a valuable information for the maintenance of optimal metabolic performance of the patient while being supported on cardiopulmonary bypass. This helps assure that all critical organs including the brain, gut, liver and kidneys are having their individual oxygen demand needs met satisfactorily. DO2 is calculated based on the blood hemoglobin level, arterial oxygen saturation, pump flow and the arterial PO2. It can be indexed to the size of the patient by using body surface area in the formula. The CDI 550 allows the user to enter the patient's body surface area. DO2 is expressed in ml per minute or ml per minute per meter square if indexed to body surface area. 
DO2 has to be maintained more than 280 ml per minute all the time. You can choose to display the patient's blood gas parameters value in a digital or graphical format. This will enable you to see changes in the patient's blood gas parameters at a glance.